What's up Leafs Nation? Welcome back to another game preview. I'm Zach Phillips and tonight we're going to be taking a look at game number 81 of the Toronto Maple Leafs regular season. Heading out to Florida to take on the Florida Panthers here tonight on the road. One of their final two games of the regular season and a potential first round matchup for this Leafs team. But I do say potential because there are a couple scenarios that could occur tonight around the league that could shake things up. It's not like it's going to be that drastic but let's lay out the scenarios. One. If the Florida Panthers win here tonight, and the Boston Bruins lose against the Ottawa Senators, then the Toronto Maple Leafs will play the Boston Bruins in the first round, and the Florida Panthers will play against the Tampa Bay Lightning. The Florida Panthers would also lock up the Atlantic Division and be the winners of that, which, if you're a better and you play some of those earlier in the season, maybe you'd be happy. If you're a better and you play some on the Bruins, maybe you'd be disappointed, but those are some ways things could change. If the Boston Bruins win here tonight, then the Leafs would just play the Florida Panthers in the first round. The Bruins play the Lightning, and that is that. So there are some things that could change here. The Leafs can play a factor in who they play in the first round. The Bruins play a factor in who they play in the first round. So just taking a look around the league, those will be some interesting things to see how they line up based on how tonight goes down. Now, as for the game itself... It seems as though the Florida Panthers actually kind of have an interest in winning this one. They are going to be playing everyone, even Carter Verhage coming back, Alex Barkov in the lineup. We heard from Paul Maurice, and he did say that Aaron Ekblad will not be playing tonight, but he is ready to go for game one of the playoffs when those start. Obviously, just some precautionary stuff. So for the Panthers, that's kind of how that's going to shake up. Now, when it comes to the goaltending there... No Bobrovsky tonight. We're going to see Anthony Stolarz. Paul Maurice did say this was always planned. He was always expected to go, regardless of what you think of that. Anthony Stolarz, not Sergei Bobrovsky in net for the Panthers. Let's flip on over and take a look at the Toronto Maple Leafs. Joel Edmondson, not yet returning here, but we are going to see Jake McCabe. It looks like he's going to go in the lineup tonight. Max Domi will be out for t tonight's game as well as Wednesday's game against the Tampa Bay Lightning. So Mitch Marner hopping up on that first line alongside Austin Matthews and Tyler Bertuzzi. Joseph Wall will get the start here. He says they're going to figure it out from there, see who goes tomorrow, see who goes in game one of the playoffs. Tough way for Ilya Samsonov to kind of line himself up here based on the fact that the last two outings that he had were not pretty. Obviously, you allow uh, some kind of crappy goals, you get yourself down mentally, and you do it back-to-back -back games, that's not the ideal way to position yourself in the coach's mind as you're about to head into the most important time of the year. And if Joseph Wall goes in there tonight and he's absolutely lights out, and then they play him tomorrow and he's lights out, who knows? Maybe they ride the hot hand and it's his net when it comes to game one of the playoffs. So an opportunity to audition here tonight for Joseph Wall as well. I'm not really too worried about some of the things that are going to go on here tonight with Austin Matthews, the top end players, all that kind of stuff. I feel like there might be some tone setting just based on what we've known out of this Panthers team. And the fact that I did see this one quote today, I found it kind of interesting, but Mark Masters tweeted out Ryan Reeves was talking about Tuesday's game in Florida and he said, end quote, playing a team that you might face in the playoffs, you got to set the tone for that series. I know they're going to try to do the same in their barn, and we got to match that. We got to outdo that. I'm going to be real honest with you here, guys. I love it. From every Leafs team that we've seen in the past, we always play these Florida-Tampa games late in the season, and then it seems like over the past couple years, that's the only teams that we're going to be playing, so you're thinking, hey, you've got to send a message here, and then this Leafs team goes out, and they float around, and they don't really bring the intensity, they don't really bring energy, they're not finishing checks, they kind of just get pushed around. Yeah, maybe you outscore the other team, but the other team can kind of send a message of this is how we're going to play defensively, and guess what? We're going to beat the shit out of you. This feels like the first Leafs team that maybe just won't let that happen. Maybe they're not going to go out there and throw punches first, but they're not just going to sit back and get their teeth kicked in while the other team comes down and buries them on four checks and gets in scrums with them in front of the net. I'm interested to see how that's going to play out. Now, with the top end guys, though, the one thing I feel like will happen here is they're going to be very limited in minutes. They don't have too much to play for outside of really just who they're going to be playing, which they could kind of help determine based on whether they win or lose here tonight. But realistically, it doesn't really matter that much. We've talked about that ad nauseum at this point. So I think that 
it's just going to be one of those ones where the Leafs I objectives going into this is going to be don't get pushed around and get Austin Matthews to 70, which kind of leads me to the last thing here. If you're looking to bet on tonight's game, if you can find an Austin Matthews goal anywhere at minus 110, that would be the way I would be betting this. That's the way I'm going to be betting it myself. That's the only bet that I'm really going to be looking at for this Leafs team tonight because I'm not really sure what their motive or their objective is going to be. And for those of you who might be watching this right now and thinking, well, maybe I'll bet on the shots on goal because he's going to go crazy trying to get it. Or maybe I'll bet on him to score last goal because if he doesn't have it yet, then he'll really push to the end. This is the reason I would kind of caution you to stay away from that. Austin Matthews is the type of player who could score this in the first five minutes of this game. He's the guy who could score it on the first shot of the game, and then he could basically just kind of call it in, or they could send him to the room for the rest. Obviously, hyperbole, send, hyperbole sending him to the room for the rest of the game, but you get the idea. They might just kind of say, okay, Austin, that's enough. Be a part of the game. You don't have to go crazy because the goal is 70. 71, who cares? The goal is 70. So the idea of last goal doesn't hold as much value. In the last game where we're looking at 68, yeah, 69, then 70, last goal at plus 600, that makes sense. Not as much so tonight. You're not really maximizing the benefit of that number to be able to pull out a last goal. First goal, I just don't see it really being the case where it's like, hey, well, I'm going to find so much value and this is going to be the best way to bet it. And then as for shots on goal, yeah, we saw him put up 10 shots on goal last game. He clears four and a half easily, but he was going for 70. He was two away, so it makes sense in the context of the game. Tonight, not so much. He needs one. He could score right away in the first period and be over with. I'm not saying he won't get over four and a half shots on goal. I'm not saying he won't get 10 shots on goal. I'm just saying from a betting perspective, it doesn't make that much sense because there's also the significant downside of if he scores early, that could kind of be it. Maybe his minutes get slashed. Maybe he's not playing on the power play as much probably not going to play any penalty kill. He's not going to play a late game situation. They're just going to say, eh, get this guy out of here. Let's keep him healthy and keep him ready for round one. So that's the only way I'm betting this one here tonight. Awesome Matthews, a goal minus 110. That's the only approach that I could take. Thank you so much for watching the game preview here today. If you did enjoy it, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications. We'll be right back here later tonight following the final buzzer to break down everything that went down in tonight's game and likely knowing who this Leafs team is playing in the first round of the playoffs for this season. So enjoy the game tonight. We'll see you guys right back here after the final buzzer for Leafs Nation After Dark.